if your brain is not getting oxygen, your heart's not beating, you are essentially no longer alive. And without mm -hmm. intervention, you would definitely not survive. Aggressive CPR and ice is what brings them back to life. The body and the brain almost attacks itself and it becomes a worthless organ. And so our goal is to so, say by slowing down the metabolism, by taking the body down to really cold temperatures, we can prevent the body from doing that. Hypothermia also decreases the size of heart attacks. So even these patients, many of them are having heart attacks. That's what caused them to go into cardiac arrest in the first place. We know that by chilling them and cooling them, we're also minimizing the size of the um, heart attack itself. Rather than being a massive heart attack, maybe we can keep it down to being a submassive or a smaller heart attack. If you come into that state, while before we would say it's 5% chance you'd survive, less than 5% chance that you're going to have neurologic intact, now we can say if you've made it here and have survived to that point, there's maybe as high as a 1 in 2 percent or 1 in 2 chance or 50 percent chance that you might be able to have good neurologic functional return. That's much better than the national averages, so we still quote the national numbers, but I do think that we are, we're onto something.